Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, this is one of my favorite lists. My top five characters in Western American history. Number five. And I know that this will seem politically correct, but I really did want to make this guy number five. There is an Indian in our group. Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse, the Lakota Sioux chief, who along with Sitting Bull rained down upon Custer, was a fighter. Crazy Horse was one of those warriors that never wanted to give up. He was fascinating. And of course, now they're building an incredible looking monument, which it's not complete, but you can still tell that it's Crazy Horse. But Crazy Horse is my top five all time. By the way, I could also put on there Geronimo, Chief Joseph, some great Indian leaders. Number four, all time favorite Western character, Davy Crockett. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Now Davy Crockett was from Tennessee, which back in his day was considered the West. He was elected to Congress. He voted against Andrew Jackson with some of his Indian policies. But Davy Crockett decided to go to Texas. He could have left the Alamo, but did he leave the Alamo? No, he stayed and fought. He didn't want to leave a legacy of what he perceived as cowardice. And there he fought and died along with over 200. So Davy Crockett sacrificed his life and it became a legend. Number three, all time, favorite Western character, Wyatt Earp. I tell you, nobody in American history has lived a more interesting life than good old Wyatt Earp. I mean, Wyatt Earp lived a hell of a life. But besides the tombstone fat part of his life, I just want to say that the fact that Wyatt Earp never got shot, a bullet never got him, considering all that he did in his life, is amazing. Number two all time favorite Western character, Doc Holliday. I've studied Doc Holliday. I know Doc Holliday. I could give a one hour speaking engagement about Doc Holliday without notes. You've seen the movie Tombstone. I love Val Kilmore's portrayal of him. But Doc Holliday was something else. And you know what Doc Holliday's an example of? If you don't give a damn anymore, you are very dangerous. And Doc Holliday didn't care. So you know what? He was very dangerous. Number one all-time Western character. You named it, Wild Bill Hickok. The fastest gun. By the way, back in the day, they all thought he was the fastest gun. He was an incredible marksman. And how he died holding those aces and eights is an outrage. Shot in the back of the head by a coward. But ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, those are my favorite characters. Now let's see if Roger can even name a Western historical character. Can you name somebody, Roger, that's not on my list? Matt Dillon. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Wow. I like that, Matt Dillon. <laughs> Fastest uh, gun in the West. I love that. That's good stuff. All right. Chuck Connors, the rifle man. There you go. All right. <laughs> good one. All right. We'll wrap this up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, that's my top five Western characters of all time. Who are yours? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to The Bulldog Show and hit that bell so you'll be alerted when I do other videos. Last but not least, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you.